Hello my friends and close acquaintances, this is Buddy the Sheep and today I'm going to be giving you guys some really good runner build tips and tricks that will help you guys stay alive in Gmod Zombie Survival. So if you guys have been watching my YouTube channel at all, you would know that I've been doing a lot of runner type builds and most of them I show off camera, I don't really show a lot of what I pick. So this time I want to show you guys what's best to pick when you have 100 points and what's best to pick when you have 200 points. As a note, you can check to see how many starter points you have to buy at the bottom left hand corner of your buy menu screen. Now before we talk about what you should buy, we should at first talk about what you guys should not buy. And that may be surprising to some of you. Because one of the weapons that you really should not buy when you first start Gmod Zombie Survival is a gun. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, why not a gun? Well, the reason why you shouldn't buy a gun early game is because when you use that gun, you use up all of your ammo trying to get more points, and you end up wasting more money trying to buy more ammo, and so therefore you just have to keep constantly replenishing your stuff, and you end up as one of those guys in the Cade who, you look at him over at him, and he's like, oh, I'm still using that same starter weapon at the game. And you do not want that. It is far better for you guys to conserve your ammo early game by using melee weapons so that you can afford better weapons later on in the game after you've saved up enough points, instead of burning them all out on ammo. The only time that I would recommend using a gun early game is if there's a server mod that allows you to have unlimited ammo, or if you find a gun on the floor and you don't care about the ammo type, like you want to go for a shotgun ammo later in the game and it's an SMG, that's the only time that I would recommend using a gun early game. Or if you're really desperate and you, you need to get out of a situation really quickly. But guns may not help you, running away is usually faster. Now in regards to specific perks and specific things that you should buy from the point shop menu, I would highly recommend that if you're doing a runner build, you get something that goes for speed. So getting the perks quick and surged will really help you out as you're trying to run past all the zombies. For your reference, you can go the fastest when you're at full health, you have the two perks quick and surged, you're holding out a knife and somebody shoots you with a medic gun. That is the top speed that you can go at, and you will definitely be able to outrun the butcher, most likely, unless there's a server mod preventing you from doing so. Now the reason why it's really important to be fast when you're doing a runner build is because your primary goal is to dodge and to run away. You're going to be one of those guerrilla tactic guys when you hit and then you run, then you hit, then you run, then you do it again until you get enough points to where you can just buy a gun to kill them long range. You probably want to get a few health perks out on the road to make your life a little bit easier, and then you also want to get yourself a med kit, that way you can heal yourself without having to rely on the generosity of others. So to give you guys all the tips at once, for 100 points you're going to want to get the traits Surged, Quick, a med kit, a knife, and the trait Fit, which gives you more health. And don't forget to spend those last 5 points that you get on a stone to throw in those desperate times, and believe me, that one use roughly 100 plus damage stone can really save your life. For 200 points at the starter point shop, you can get the same purchases such as Surge, Quick, a med kit, a knife, and you can also get some additional things such as medkit ammo and the trait Muscular, which is increases your melee damage, and the trait Surgeon, which allows you to heal more with each medkit use. Feel free to use those last 35 points to buy some more health traits or possibly buy something else that you're interested in. If you're interested, I didn't record myself doing this, but you can save your current cart checkout, that way you can buy the same items every gameplay without having to manually scroll through what you want to buy. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for this video. The life of a runner in Gmod Zombie Survival is filled with both fun and failures, so don't get mad when you die. Remember that running without a cade can be pretty difficult, especially if you're doing it solo. My last few tips would be to get a good running buddy and to always run in open areas that you can't be trapped by zombies in. Running into places like the back of Best Buy, the back of ShopRite, the back of Food Court, and the back of Buffalo Wildlings may seem like a safe place to go, but there's only one exit and so it is a lot easier to get in it than it is to get out of it. For a special tip, PLEASE, especially don't go into the back of ShopRite because you wouldn't believe how many times I and others have been cornered back there, and when you get to wave 3 through 6, do not stick around zombie spawn and don't try to get yourself noticed because the last thing you want is a full on horde of zombies on your tail. If you're running around, most likely small amounts of zombies are, will come to you, so be patient and don't take on more than you can handle. This video took some time to make, so a like would greatly be appreciated. Share it with your friends, share it with those who you think might need it. Anyways guys, I'm Buddy the Sheep, and you guys to read you believe, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Good luck with your running, and take care.